Isn't it exciting that this 23 Ultra is having a new camera sensor? The S23 Extreme has considerably enhanced nighttime photography and videography, as well as AI-powered camera functions, owing to its upgraded processor. So, come along with us today as we discuss the Samsung S23 Ultra 5G. Design, the Galaxy S23 Ultra, if rumors are to be believed, will have a flat back, a curved screen, and many cameras placed strategically on the rear of the device. To do so would be to replicate the S22 Ultra's integrated S Pen. Compared to the S22 Ultra, the S23 Ultra is somewhat longer, slightly wider, and slightly heavier, although only by millimeters and tenths of an ounce at most. Flatter displays and sides may appeal to users who don't like touching or writing on curved surfaces. Leaker, Ice Universe asserts that the S23 Ultra will include an all-new interface. The S23 Ultra screen might be the most luminous of any smartphone upon its introduction. We anticipate that the screen will be much more luminous than that of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The 6.8-inch QHD AMOLED panel with the fully customizable LTPO 120Hz refresh rate is unbeatable, although Samsung may be working on a better screen in terms of brightness or efficiency. Camera. Samsung has its job cut out for it when compared to the new iPhone 14 Pro and Google's Pixel 7 Pro in the photography area. Even if the Galaxy S22 Ultra was fantastic, recent reports and speculations indicate that the Galaxy S23 Ultra will include a major improvement in the camera. The next Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, in particular, will include a crazy 200MP camera and a much improved main camera, telephoto lens, and superb low-light shooting capability. Per Ice Universe tweet, it can be confirmed that S23 Ultra's night photos are very strong and much better than S22 Ultra's. I think it's the biggest improvement of Samsung's flagship mobile phone in five years. Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra will sport a 200MP primary camera in addition to the 3X and 10X zoom cameras seen on the S22 Ultra. Moreover, it is said that improvements will be made to everything. Enhancements to telephoto capabilities, enhanced color reproduction, and intelligent algorithmic processing are all up for discussion and the new chipset will add more features, so stay tuned to find out about the new chipset. The most significant shift, though, could come from breakthroughs in nighttime photography and videography. Indeed, Ice Universe said that this is the largest enhancement of Samsung's flagship mobile phone in five years. So far, everything we've heard about the impending Galaxy S23 Ultra has been positive, with the exception of its ultra-wide camera. But it doesn't rule out a future update. No one has spoken anything about it just yet. So, although the formal introduction of the Galaxy S23 is still a good four to five months away, early reports seem encouraging. Well, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, because we shall bring you more videos on this 23 Ultra. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 In most areas, the Galaxy S23, Galaxy S23 Plus, and Galaxy S23 Ultra will all include the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 inside. The second-generation Snapdragon 8 is manufactured by TSMC on their foreign NIM technology. It employs ARM's newest central processing unit, CPU, cores in a novel tri-cluster, 1 plus 4 plus 3 layout. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is promoted as 35% quicker and 40% more power efficient than its predecessor. The latest generation Adreno GPU boasts increased performance by up to 25% and reduced battery consumption by up to 45%, making it ideal for gaming. Even though no ray tracing games have been released for Android, this Adreno GPU is the first to provide this functionality in its hardware. It is capable of powering displays with a resolution of QHD plus at 144Hz and 4K at 60Hz. The system is compatible with 4K displays running at 60 frames per second when connected to an external display. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 has a triple 18-bit Spectra ESP for images, which is capable of handling 200MP cameras. 
Sensors like Samsung's 200MP ISOC ELL HP3 are designed with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in mind. Furthermore, the ISB can handle images from 336MP camera streams all at once. All of these calculations are done securely on the device itself using Snapdragon Secure. Screens equipped with near-face detection technology may be activated or deactivated in response to the user's gaze. So, for instance, when the sensor detects other individuals around, it will obscure any warnings you've gotten. Release Date and Price Unless supply chain issues delay mass production of the Galaxy S23 Ultra beyond its original March release date, or Samsung determines that the S23's innovative quad-curve design and 200MP camera sensor merit a higher price, we anticipate the device's initial price to remain at $1,199.99. In the S22 Ultra, Samsung managed to conceal the S Pen and maintain a large battery without increasing the price, so we have great hopes that the Galaxy S23 will start at $799, the Galaxy S23 Plus will cost $999, and the Galaxy S23 Ultra will retail for a nice $1,199. In the year 2023, we anticipate that the S23 Ultra will be a leading-edge smartphone if it is equipped with all of these enhancements. We are looking forward to seeing how the 200MP performs and just cannot wait to share our practical experience video with all of you. Anyway, the S23 Ultra will have the excellent UI 5.1. Fortunately, more phones will receive the UI 5.0, so watch our following video to find out if your phone is included in the list and to learn more about its features.